What's good, Grey Gang? I'm out here in the middle of the field about to talk to you about something. Okay, guys, I got one word for you. They done it again. And who's that that I'm talking about? Pissifun. Or, or Pissifun. Or, I, I'm, not, I'm honestly not sure how to say but it. But still, they came out here made another fishing reel for you beginners or budget fishermen who just like, you know, don't want to blow $80 on a spinning reel. They made this in the day. I'm about to sit down in a chair. Where else but in a field? And by the way, guys, I'm not lying about this. Bucky's over there in the corner. I'm not lying at all. But he's over there. He's just chilling. No need to bother him. He's just chilling, eating grass with all of his does. While you be sleeping, Pissifun's out here grinding, guys. I ain't even kidding. What else do they have? Well, not only a reel, but they've also got their own line of braid now their braid is called lunker i've been using it a little bit on their honor reel and boys it's it's straight awesome but yeah i'm about to sit in this metal chair and unbox that reel for you and then after we get done unboxing it we're gonna take it way over there about three miles that way and then go straight down to a pond we're gonna try to catch some bass on it. okay guys come on don't be shy get a little bit closer to me there we go here we go i'd like to say this is the first time i opened the box but then i'd be lying to you but here's the second time Ooh. Oh, wait. Okay. Uh, there we go. So here it is. I'm pulling it out of its little bag. And the first thing I notice is, dang, that's a slick reel. Like, I ain't even kidding, guys. This is a really nice looking reel. They got the gloss in the right place and they got the matte black in the right place. Now, with the Pesafun Venom, despite coming at a $40 price point, this thing is still has 11 bearings and a braid ready spool. And lucky for me, that's exactly what we're about to put on. Now, Grey Gang, I just want you to see this. I didn't mean for it to look this good, but look at the green on my rod, and then look at the green on my reel. Like, this is a perfectly matched combo. It just, it just, dang, man, that's awesome. I finally got some braid on my reel down here. I'm sorry I didn't get that on video, but hey, let's go test this sucker out and hopefully get on some big ones. I told you Bucky was over here. Oh, yep, that's Bucky. That's him. He's not actually as big as I thought he was, but bro, he, he ain't a bad deer at all. He's probably a good 10-pointer, maybe a small 10-pointer, but yeah, dude. Look at all those does he got. Okay, I'm out at the pond, and today I'm even using some of the lures y'all sent in. Now, this is just a white, wacky rig trick worm. It's got a little dyed section right there that's red, but I highly doubt these fish are going to care. Let's try to get one on it. And just real quick, if you're not already, become a great gangster, hit the like button, turn on your notifications, and smash the like button on this video. Oh, I just caught a fish, guys. This right here, this is honestly about funny. I'm not going to lie. I honest, I, guys, I'm not even kidding. I honestly think my worm is bigger than this guy. And we're going to put it to the test, too. I honestly think my worm's bigger than this guy. Okay, guys, here's the true test. There it is, tip to nose. Uh, the fish has got it beat by legit about a two quarters of an inch. Or if you know how to do math, two quarters of an inch is just a half inch. There he is. Uh, I got him. This one's not as small as the first one, but he's not but he's not as big as the biggest one we've caught today. And then you're wondering, what is the biggest one you caught today? Well, this is the biggest one I caught today, and I don't even know what I'm talking about. But at least I'm using the old Pesafun Venom. Am I right? Am I right? <laughs> Fish. Guys, it's been a long day at school, boys. Oh, there he is. That's good in there. Oh, yeah. Good enough to pull drag, I can tell you that. That's a nice one there. Now, if we can just get him in with that... Oh, wow. Yep, he's took me in a... Oh, he's a jumper, too. He ain't afraid to jump. That's my kind of bass right there. I ain't afraid to do a little gymnastics for me. Okay, now he really is hung up in a... Okay, let's pull him. Yep. Oh, no! Oh, my whole foot went in. Oh, dang it. All my Crocs. Dang it. That was not even worth it at all. Oh, dang. That, that was not worth one second of it. Look at my sock now. I lost the fish and I went in the pond. Yeah, guys, tip of the day. Crocs are not waterproof. If you don't believe me, here's a few reasons why. One, they got holes in them. That's all the reasons I need. There he is. Got him there. I'm actually checking my Instagram, at Gray one and only have my rod in my off hand. But boom, baby, we still got the fish in. Unlike that last one. That last one, I ain't gonna lie, that was sort of a fail. If you would like to pest fun Venom Reel, you can head on down. Link in the description. The braid is also in the description. What I actually figured out is that there's 300 yards of line on that spool. And the reel holds 140 yards. And so what that means is if you buy one spool of braid, that's literally gonna last you almost a year and a half. If you use it like every day like I do. But yeah, guys, feel free to check them out. The link is in the description. And don't forget the price point. $40, boys. $40. Now that we've reviewed Venom, we're actually going to go catfishing. Actually with this Zebco and with one of the lures y'all sent in. Here we go. Hup, hup, get it. I know, guys, it's kind of cheesy, but I'm going to get way more action here than if I'd actually go catfishing. I'm sorry. And the lure that y'all sent in? A squirrel tail. Cat's not too interested. I don't know. There was kittens around here. I don't know where they went. I'm gonna bring it right in front of her face really fast, see if she tries to chase it. Oh, there she goes, there she goes. Predatory response engaged. 
Oh my gosh! I just broke my rod. My tip of my rod just went flying. Oh well, it'll be alright. I'm gonna reel the whole rod. I'm wanting her to just like attack it, but she just won't do it. I don't know. Well, boys, I'm about to make my last cast. I don't know why, but the catfish just aren't cooperating today. They just ain't cooperating. Oh, bro, 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 dude. Where's your head? Like my boys out here headless. We can't have this happening. Mammy, what did you do to her? Oh, there's his head. There's his head. I found it. I found it. I found his head. I don't know why they decapitated him, but I mean, sure. At least I found it. It's okay, bro. It happens to the best of us. Sort of. First stand of action. We need a hammer and a thing, which we have, and then we're going to smash it down to the ground. Right about here. And now we got to get Bro Crow himself and his head and put him up here where he needs to be. Boom. There's his head. And boom. Brokers back up and in operation. And I know what you're thinking. Kendall, did you really just go out and switch shirts just so you could come out here and work on Bro Crow? Well, yeah. I, I did. Because Bro Crow's my bro. He's our bro. He's your bro. And if you want to be like us, you can go to kindlegray1.com slash shop. Right, Bro Crow? Tell him. You can go to kindlegray1.com slash shop. If you don't go there, then I ain't a scarecrow. Now let's go change. Okay, guys, I just want to address something real quick about Bucky. I've had people in the comments say, oh, that ain't deer hunting. You've got a, you got a tame deer. He's your pet. He just stands there. That ain't even real hunting. He, he don't even run away. Listen, guys, here's the facts. I never told him to stand still. That's a choice of his. And if he wants to do something, we'll let him do it and let him learn from his mistakes. Because think about it. Your mom doesn't tell you when to use the bathroom, and I'm not going to tell Bucky when to run. Bucky is an independent young man, and I'm going to let him make his decisions for himself. The odds are in her favor. It's looking good to kill Bucky. It's basically all on me. Uh, ah! If you're not part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right, and feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, favorite squad, post it up down low. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgray1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.